Forge can now be used with Optifine in Minecraft 1.19.3, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do it. First things first, we want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for installing Optifine, but if you're using Optifine with Forge, all you need from this page is just to click the download Optifine button here. That will take you to Optifine's official website where you may have to click preview versions in the case of this video because it just came out. We do. However, you may not. And if you don't have preview versions here, that's actually a good thing. That means Optifine is stable for Minecraft 1.19.3 and you don't have any issues. Nonetheless, in our case, we want to click preview versions. And then as we can see on the right hand side, we have forge versions here. Now we want to make sure that we're downloading the forge version that is noted here when we go download Forge later. But for now, we want to make sure that there is a Forge version listed. And then we want to go ahead and make a note of it. In our case, that's going to be 44117. Yours will most likely be different. Just write down whatever number is right there. That way you have that later. Then go ahead and click Mirror next to that version. You're going to bypass an ad by clicking Mirror. And then that will take you to the official download page for the 119.3 version of Optifine. Click download here and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser and it is 100% safe to do that. Optifine is downloaded by millions of people every year just through our links, hundreds of millions every year most likely total. So from there we want to go ahead and get Forge. Now in the description down below we have an in-depth guide on getting Forge and if you do have any issues we're going to be going over some of them in this video but we have an in-depth guide. Look at this! All the different troubleshooting and FAQs we have. So much is here to be able to get Forge up and running and to help you get Forge successfully and this tutorial does work for getting Forge with Optifine so go through this guide if you want to go at your own pace or if you have any questions or anything like that. Nonetheless though once you're here click on the download Forge button to be taken the official Forge download page. Now, by default, we can see what the version of Forge is, which is our case 44.1.21. Now, some of you might not have Minecraft 1.19.3 here, and if you don't, you'll want to select that from the left-hand sidebar. Once you've done that, we want to find the Forge version that Optifine is compatible for. Now, neither of these are it. The recommended version is 44.1. Point zero. The latest version is 44.1.21. So how do we find the version we want, which in our case was 44.1.17? Sorry, that's a little confusing, but all you need to know is click show all versions. And then here you'll be able to see all of the versions of Forge that are out, and you'll be able to find the one that Optifine is compatible with. 44.1.17, but yours is most likely going to be something different, and that's okay. Once you're here, you want to come over and click onto the installer link to be taken to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Just put your hands in the air for about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, a red skip add button will appear in the top right. Right there it is. Skip. Click that red skip button and Forge will start downloading. You may need to keep or save Forge. 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title, which it is for us. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move Forge and Optifine to our desktop, just because it's easier to manage files once they're there. To do that, you want to go ahead and click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And then once you're here, go ahead and type File Explorer. Open up File Explorer, and for some of you, you'll have downloads right here. Click on that. But if you don't, you can go to the left-hand sidebar, scroll down, and click on this PC, and there it is, Downloads. Open that up, and now we have Forge and Optifine, and we can drag and drop them to our desktop for ease of use. Now, to get started, we actually want to use Forge. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or you can't open these, can't double-click them, the icons don't look like mine, it just isn't working for you, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and obviously Optifine is a Minecraft mod, it's required for Forge, it's required for starting your own Minecraft server. You need Java 17 for basically anything outside of just playing Minecraft normally. So you can go here, go through the download process, again, super in-depth article on getting Java. Some of you will also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take the .jar file on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. This is another in-depth article on how to do that. It's very, very simple. Three steps and you'll be good to go. Nonetheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get Forge installed. 
To install Forge, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That opens up the Mod System Installer, where all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK. That's going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running. The only reason it wouldn't work at this point is if one, Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher is open. If that's the case, close out of both of them, close out of Forge, reopen Forge, and click the Install button again. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before, if that's the case, go play it with no mods or anything else. Then, you guessed it, reopen up Forge and click install and it will work and it will eventually say this, successfully install Client Profile Forge. Click OK and now we can delete Forge from our desktop. It's time to install Optifine with Forge. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft Launcher, what we want to do is select our Forge installation. Now, to do that, you want to click on this little arrow next to the Play button and then select Forge. Now, if you don't have this here, what we want to do is go up to Installations. Some of you may have Forge here. If you do, click Play, click Play again. But if you don't, you want to make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, we deselect modded, forge disappears. Check on modded, there it is. Forge, click play, click play again. But Nick, I still don't have forge, or it's not the 1.19.3 forge. Well, in that case, click new installation, and what we want to do is name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Optifine with Forge, because that's what we're doing in this video, and then we'll also put 1.19.3 there. The most important part of this, though, is making sure when we click this drop-down box that we select or release 1.19.3-Forge. Again, make sure, though, it is the one that Optifine requests, which in our case is 44.1.17, but yours will most likely be different. Nevertheless, there it is selected. I'm also going to change the resolution so you can see better once we get in game, but that's not required. Finally, click Create, and we have this new Optifine with Forge installation. It's got the correct version of Forge, 1.19.3 and 44.1.17, so we can go ahead and click Play and click Play again. Now Minecraft is going to open up, and it's super easy to install Optifine from here. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Don't worry that Forge has a new version available. This is the version that Optifine requires. Again, you can see that in the bottom left. From here, though, just click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods Folder. Then all you need to do is drag and drop Optifine into your Mods Folder. And guess what? This is where you're going to put other mods that you want to use with Forge as well. So as long as they're 1.19.3 compatible, drag and drop those mods into your Mods Folder as well, and they will work right alongside Optifine. Now, if we close out of that folder and we go back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here. We actually need to restart Minecraft, making sure that we're opening up Minecraft with our Forge installation. That is the correct version of Forge as well. So that's going to be that 44.1.17 version or the one that we created. So you'll see here it is the one that we created. You can select it from this drop down box, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Optifine installed. There we go. Minecraft's open. And if we go to mods, Optifine's not there. That's normal. And that's what I think throws a lot of people off from not knowing you can just throw Optifine as long as it's compatible with the version of Forge that you're running into your mods folder. I don't know why it doesn't show up here, but if we go into options, video settings, there we can see in the bottom left, there's Optifine. We've also got all the other Optifine features, including shaders here. I've already got a shaders pack selected. So let's go ahead and quickly jump in game. And I will just show you that, sure enough, this is working. Forge is installed. By the way, if you get this warning, it's just because you're playing modded. It's perfectly normal. But nevertheless, once we're in game, we'll be able to see that, sure enough, Forge is working, Optifine is working, and we are good to go. We are playing Minecraft with Optifine and Forge, and as you can see, shaders is active looking good we can also hit f1 here and we will be able to not f1 f3 and we will be able to see that this is the forge version somewhere one second there it is on the right hand side we can see forge 44.1.17 is active there but if we go into our settings options video settings this is all of optifine stuff meaning optifine is working with forge if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy optifine now that it is compatible with forge in minecraft 1.19.3 i know a lot of you have been waiting on this video and as soon as it was available we made it for you but unfortunately it's taken a while we'll see you in the next one i'm out peace